dear followers. It's a pleasure we meet again in your favorite show, English Talk, which is broadcasted from Tala Ikal. Who guys have a dream? Who guys want to make a brilliant feature? Who guys want to change something in our educational system? Today, this show is for you. We have a dream. You have a dream. And I have a dream. So, let's share our dream together. I have a dream. That's what we are going to discuss about today with the innovation of our honorable guests, Aisha Maimuna. Hello, Bamba. Hello, Amina. <laughs> And every time I, 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 I forget to, I mean, to welcome you um, warm fully. I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Don't worry. How are you? I'm good. You fine? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Okay. So you ready for the show of today? I'm ready. We're gonna for... make something happen. I'm We're ready gonna for, share for all dreams. our dreams. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, good morning, Maimuna. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Bamba. Thank you, Amina, for the invitation. Mm -hmm. I go by the name uh, Maimuna Sadio. I'm a student from Sheikh Anta Job University. Uh, I'm specialized on African and post-colonial studies. Thank you. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Amina. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aisha Mbup. I'm a Masson student at Shantujub University in African and Post-Colonial Studies. And it's always a pleasure and an honor to be here with you guys. Okay, thank you. Steve Harvey, a presenter of a show in the USA, once said in his speech, education is not the most important thing. Do you know, guys, how many people get full degrees and they are not making money? Do you know how many people get education and they ain't got no job? The most important thing is what you dream about. So, Aisha, Maimuna, Bamba, what are your dreams? All right, Amina. Well, I don't quite agree with um, Steve Harvey because we are here today to talk about education and our dreams about education. So I think it is extremely important that we talk about the importance of education. And I personally think that education enables human beings to be free. It enables them to be free, but also to be eager to search for knowledge and be better versions of themselves. So I think education is extremely important. That's the reason why I disagree with um, Steve Harvey. But what I think about the educational system or what I dream about the Senegalese educational system, for me, it's all about um, the, these two no notions. The first one is responsibility, and the second one is consciousness. We cannot talk about our educational system without taking these two notions into consideration. Um, and when it comes to responsibility, I think um, it goes in two layers. First of all, we have the individual responsibility. Like every single person, every single Senegalese should be saying that I should be educated. I have the right to be educated. You know, and this will enable them, as I said a while ago, to be better human beings because um, this is the aim of education. Make people better people for the society, for their family, but also for themselves. And after we have a collective um, level of the responsibilities. When I say collective level, I'm calling, the gov I'm calling for the government. The government, they have their own responsibilities regarding education. Because the Senegalese government should be the one who is um, really ready to give a good education to the population. Because the system is the government, let's tell the truth. But also we have parents. Parents should be dedicated to give a good education to their children. But also, we have teachers themselves, because teachers should be active agents, because when you're doing something and you have passion for it, then you do it very well. And finally, or last but not least, we have students or children. They should be aware that they have the right and the duty to be educated, not wait for the government to do this or that. So if all those four actors that I've mentioned a while ago contribute um, to the development or to make the educational system a, a, a better one, I think we can actually achieve our dreams. Because this is my biggest dreams regarding the Senegalese education. Um, Aisha, do you think education is available for everyone here in Senegal? And the last question is the where. 
where should we teach? Mm. Because as you said, is educa- should education be available for everybody? So that's where the where comes from. Because I think when we talk about the educational system, it's not only those who are in the colonial or a French school. Nope, nope, it's not. So those who are in a Quranic school also should be taken into account. And if we do this, then we'll be able to reduce um, the high number of um, children beggars on the street. So, and it is a question that I invite every Senegalese to think about it, because it's only together that we can reach the solution for these questions. So you guys who are following us, if you do not have a dream, it is right time to have a dream. I can give you one dream. Make the education be available for everyone. That is a big dream, so think about it. I have a dream. Maimuna? Okay, thank you, Amina. I think that this film is very interesting as we're talking about education. And Obama said that if you think that education is expensive, uh, wait until you see how much ignorance costs. However, uh, our educational system of today has several problems, so we have to try to improve it. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, I would like to deal with the overcrowded classrooms. Mm-hmm. Here in Senegal, uh, we all have noticed that. Mm-hmm. When you go, for example, in secondary schools, we can find more than uh, 30 students in one classroom while a smaller class can enable an active role for the student and improve the level of individual attention they get from the teacher. So as a solution, I, will, uh, I propose to reduce the number of students in the classroom yeah. so that each of them can uh, express themselves from an early age, they can express themselves, uh, ask a question about what they do not understand. Because there is one uh, problem that I would like to underline. Mm-hmm. I mean, the lack of communication. Mm-hmm. The students do not have the privilege to communicate with the, uh, their, t- their teacher. Sure. When the teacher comes in the classroom, in the classroom mm-hmm. they just uh, do what they have to do. I mean, they just explain their, the lesson, uh, give exercise, and they forget that it is important also to uh, give the flow to the student so that he or she can share his, vis- his vision about what they learn. Mm-hmm. And it is re- really important from an early age they begin to speak, to read English or French. When you go to private school, you can find uh, children, they speak a good English or a good French then why not uh, our public school? Because the student did not have the privilege to take the flow in front of people, to defend their argument. I think that this lack of communication Mm -hmm. is a problem or is an obstacle of their success. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to get here in Senegal, if you want to get a good job, you should speak a good English or a good French. So that means that to you, teachers, they must take into account the feelings of student because, students sorry, because uh, they are all in front of the children, each one having different gifts, yeah. different dreams, different thoughts, something like. So they must take into account the feelings of students. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, Baba. while we talk about dreams and I have a dream, I immediately think about Martin Luther King who made that sentence uh, famous. And for me, even though he had a dream to see one day the little black boys and little black girls in the same table of brotherhood, today each one of us have a, a, a dream concerning the educational system here in our country. I have a dream. My four little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character i have a dream yes we are in the in the system we are learning we are students or whatever we may be we see something that we want to change we would like things to be other to be uh, to to go in another way so that is the reason why each one of you have a uh, uh, very great and uh, 
amazing dreams. When I hear Asa talking or Maimuna, I am just um, glad and as fit as a fiddle to hear you talking about your dreams. But concerning my dreams, because I don't have if not one dream, but many dreams, I say it with um, Mamuduja, Mamuduja's dreams, who said that in Africa, we don't need um, African, ma um, African men uh, we cannot talk about African men without talking about African schools, meaning that his, his dream or one uh, a part of his dreams was to see a Senegal in which the educational system is according to the realities of the country, meaning how we live, how we talk, how we communicate, all of things we teach to our students at, the, at school should be adopted according to the, our realities, to African realities, and not to French realities or, or English realities. It is a big problem because what we are learning is not according to our realities. Of course, and this is part of my dream, to see the famous school we had here in Senegal. We know that after the colonizations, uh, students, we were picking uh, into the stud among the students what we call the elites and after we send them to the French countries in order to, to serve them and today we can say that the same practice exists because if you see the general contest the best two students of the general contest are not in Senegal no, when, not at whenever all. you finish it means that we, we build excellence for the other countries and not for ours and this is part of uh, the dreams of somebody like uh, Mamoudouja that I share then this is a part of my, my dreams. I have a dream. I have also another dream, which is um, a dream of some of our, our leaders, um, which, which was um, to implement in our schools what we call the LN project, meaning the Africans' national languages in our schools, so that uh, when students go to school, we can, we can uh, train them weave their uh, mother tongues in order for them to understand faster the mathematics or the other subjects. But if students don't understand French and then they go to school, instead of teaching them through our um, local languages, you teach them to uh, other languages they don't even understand, to understand the knowledge will be, will be so difficult. So what do we want students to understand? The language, the culture of the others, or the knowledge that comes from the culture of the others. And I think this is a dream that I share with the majority of Africans and Senegalese uh, particularly. Thank you, my brother Bamba, for this very um, important part that you have tackled. So yeah, because I was thinking about it, the, and I even talk about it um, when I just started, when I asked the what question, like, what should we teach to our children or our students? And I think you give brilliant ideas, so yeah. And I will just join what you say, because I think that we should teach our students or children according to our realities, African realities. Because um, if you teach your children according to others' realities, then it's going to be just a fiasco. And guys, let's tell the truth. We are having the French system. Like, that's what we're doing. So actually, it's high time that we just stopped or we trying to improve that system and, you know, adapt to our own values. Because education is a part of knowledge, and knowledge is cultural. So it's a, knowledge is a core element of culture. That's the reason why we should really be um, selective about what types of knowledge do we inculcate to our children or our or, or students. So, yes. And I think um, countries like Singapore have succeeded in doing so because they are teaching their children according to their realities. But we as Senegalese people, like our cur curriculum, it doesn't belong to us. So it's high time we change it and then, you know, learn things that really matters for us. But I'm not very um, radical to that because I think, um, as President Fengor used to say, we should be deeply rooted and then be open to others. Like, we can be um, taught regarding our, our culture, but also our mother tongues, as you said a while ago. But we should not forget that we need to be open to others. So it's good, for example, to see, I mean, someone like Maimuna or someone like Bomba to um, speak fluently English or French or German. Because um, the aim of education is to make us competent people to bring competence, but also to allow us to be very competitive, both inside the country, but also abroad. But if we just focus um, on just um, 
you know, studying our culture only or studying our mother tongues only, then it's not going to work when we go to the international level. And education, the aim of education is to allow us to be really open to others also, be competitive, as I said a while ago. So that's what I had to say. And this is one of the biggest dreams that I have regarding the Senegalese educational system. I have a dream. But know that so many people, I mean, so much student here in Senegal, they got the same dreams that we have. But the problem is, the real matter is, they don't, they, they are, they, they, they are afraid. This is that, 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 that thing inside them. They do not, they do not care. So what can you tell them to those people in order to, I mean, make them know that a winner is a big dreamer. And a dreamer is different from somebody who, who is not dreaming. You see? So that is very important. We emphasize on that thing. And this is another dream, some, something like that mm -hmm. I dream about. Mm -hmm. I dream to see a, an educational system where parents will participate a lot and not let children with school or with teachers or with their comrades, where a father or a mother will be faced to his daughter or her daughter and telling to her, what do you want to be? What do you want to do? What are your patients? Mm -hmm. in, in which thing are you good so that I can help you? I can um, help you being a good football player. I can mm -hmm. help you b being a good uh, music player or etc. And not to let student, children go with a mm -hmm. number of people that, that, that are in, on the same way while they are special on other things. Mm -hmm. And uh, it co we come back to what Maimuna said a while back, mm -hmm. meaning that we should communicate. So if the child is not ready to communicate with the father or the teacher telling mm -hmm. him or about um, his dreams it will be difficult for, for, for that environment to know really what is deeply in inside that that very that very person and mm -hmm. uh, uh, somebody who succeed should dream that is why you said that we should all be good dreamers mm -hmm. but we are even afraid to dream our yeah. students are afraid to dream because when you born in the educational system we tell you where to go what mm -hmm. to learn what mm -hmm. to do and how to say it mm -hmm. while we should let people go with their own feelings their own responsibilities and their own patience mm -hmm. in order to make special special uh, peoples. Mm -hmm. I like when you talk about the communication between, uh, I mean, the, the the child and his or her mother or his father. Because whenever we are talking about that, I like taking take my taking my example. My, I mean, my, I myself, for example, my relation with my dad. He he was at at any time we were a child. I mean, uh, he used to ask us, "What do you want to become in the future? It's what do you want to be? What do you want? What, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want?" This relation that will make a, a very great and wonderful link between the child and his parent. That is wonderful. You cannot imagine, and that will allow also the child, the child, to dare, dare do something, and not to be afraid of living or dreaming about something big. So that is very important. The relationship with the parent and his child. Mm -hmm. So. Parents who are, I mean, following us, that is very important. Be, uh, get the, I mean, the, the, I don't know how to say it. The, they should the, let them dream. Yeah, right? they should let them dream. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, really, yeah. at, at any time. And also communicate with your children because that is very important. That will allow them to, 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 to show you what they want, how about their aspiration, how about their, their vision on something. Mm. You see, so... I think it is very important. Okay, I mean, now to come back to what you said, uh, I think that also or uh, I dream one day to see a uh, teacher and parents um, to make aware children about the purpose of technology. It is important also mm -hmm. because many, uh, today's generation, students love technology. Mm -hmm. So teachers, they uh, just they start using technology mm -hmm. just to keep them engaged. Mm -hmm. So that, imp uh, that imposes a, seri a serious issue. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, I mean, education is becoming uh, an entertainment mm -hmm. rather than uh, a learning process. Mm -hmm. Then they should make them aware of the purpose of technology. Mm -hmm. It's all about learning. Yeah, and the COVID-19 shows that we should turn into technologies yeah. because we need it to, to continue teaching to our brothers and sisters. Yeah. When it Before it come, we thought that to go to school, you need to take your back and then work toward your way to school. But when the COVID-19 came, the system did change. It means that it is possible 
to change the, the educational system. But sometimes for some people, it is impossible to dream. It is impossible to dream. For some people, because they are afraid of their own dreams. It is not given to everybody to, to dream, to, because to dream you have to, to, you have to get the courage. Meaning you're born in a family where everybody is that. You have another dream, which is another thing. So to talk about your dreams, to dare say that this is what I want to do, you have to be courageous. And break the rules. Yeah. It's not my dad is a doctor. I have to be a doctor. No. My mom is a teacher. I have to be a she teacher. She's not your mom. This, this, is not, this is not exactly what, what things, uh, how things happen. Should be, yeah. You should have to break the rules. When we say break the rule, it doesn't mean that you're going to, I mean, uh, misrespect mis your mom or to your dad, but to break the rules, show them that you want this and you will realize it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I would say that as you all, you guys um, have developed um, very clearly and interestingly, I would say that everybody is uh, should be free or should be given the right or the chance to um, to their own life blueprint, but not follow what everybody is doing because it doesn't make sense. I'll come back to what you guys were saying regarding um, the participation of parents. I think we should have an inclusively educated um, system. Like, everybody should be involved in it, as I said. Parents, government, teachers, but also students, because um, it will help, help them or those who are learning to, uh, to use education as a, as, a, as a medium to be free. Because education should be something that really uh, make people free human beings. Because um, there is a quotation that says that education makes a, a people um, easy to lead, but difficult to drive, easy to govern, but impossible to enslave. So let's think about the quality of the education that we are providing, right? I have a dream. I have another dream. Since we still talk about dreams, I have a dream because I would like one day also to see parents to be sensitized enough in order to let the girls go to school as, as boys they, they do. Because we see that here in the country, we still see that girls' education is not take, uh, taken into consideration. And we should, uh, I think you are really, you should be ambassadors of, of those girls and advising parents also to let they, they, their daughters go to school as boys they do. But whenever you have a girl who's going at university, you're waiting for a husband to come. When the husband is here, it means the girl no longer have the right to, to go and be educated enough. And for me, they should be uh, judge not um, according to their gender, but according to the content of their of their characters. This is also one of my dreams. Wow, <laughs> what a brilliant dream! Uh, but I think um, you know a lot of work have been done yeah. seriously. Because personally, if you go to the um, high school or junior high school, we um, we notice a high number or a high um, percentage of um, girls who are being scholarized. But the matter is, girls are numerous in the high schools, but they don't have a continuity in their in their studies of. So they, they, they need like they need to have good mentors. I when I say good mentors, I mean people who just um, keep on pushing them that they can realize their dreams. Cause um, education should be a right for everybody, no matter what your religion, no matter what your gender, no matter what your ethnic group. It is something that everybody should acquire. But now, like, say, this is a girl, they should not get education. No, and that's where the individual, the individual aspect of education comes again. Because everybody should say, hey, I need to have a good education. I need to be educated. Because that education will not only serve you inside schools, but also outside. Because education... Um, puts in the life of the human beings the correct, it defines their character, their image, who they are. For example, someone who have received the both, uh, a good education, both at school and at home, when they go out, you will know that this person is educated. Um, you know, when they only speak, the way they behave, the way they talk to people, you know that this person are educated. So it should be done both inside schools, but also outside schools, so that we all just become 
free people because you know no more slavery yeah. I mean I'm talking about slavery no. I'm I'm talking about the slavery of the mind yeah. and as Ngugi Wachongo yeah. used to say even, even let's phys- decolonize that, that the mind physical slavery that exists right. because when you say no more no more slaves I want also to say no more beggings right. because some parents when they have uh, children who were born with a handicap yeah. Immediately, the place of that boy is on the street. You go to bed. In here, in the, the in the country, for example, we nowadays have four schools that are specialized, um, meaning that if you have a child who is blind, deaf, or get a, handi- a physical handicap, she uh, or he can go to that to the very schools. But they are not numerous enough because they are not taken into consideration. It is also one of my dreams to see a Senegal in which, when you born. Whatever the situation, you get the right to go to to the to do the school and to be accepted as as much as the others. It comes back to my words to my words. Sorry, a uh, while back when I said, um, I mean, the fact of making the education be available for, for everyone, all. Yeah. for all. So coming back to your words, I mean, girls who are not scholarized. Oh my God, this is this. That that one hurt me, you know, deep in in my heart. Because giving up is the birth of regret. Let us tell the truth. Mm-hmm. Girls have to be educated as well as boys. Don't follow your parents who are, uh, I mean, putting in your mind that you have to give up. No, never do that. What should please. you do? Go to school. <laughs> even we fail. Even even we fail. That is fine. Even yeah. we fail. That is that is fine. The But first can, can time we fail. you go without the authorization that, that is, of your that parents? Is, that is, that is what I mean. How? When you say don't don't listen to your parents, go to school. I would like to know if you want Good. them to go to school. Yes, of course. However, or whatever my, their parents say. By 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 myself, I will go to school. Mm. I will go to to tell the director of the school. My parents do not want me to go to school, and then they will come and talk with the parents. And let you go to school. Seriously, because uh, if you really, if you really pay attention about the percentage of girls who are in the classrooms, I personally, I, I mean, when I went to Koki High School, but I realized that you know, girls are more even more numerous than than boys in the classroom. So we should also acknowledge that. Of course, I am. Yeah, I agree with you. Girls are at school. The problem is after the school. Okay, girls are they can they can be at school have their dip, their degrees and and whatever you you want. But whenever you are a girl, people whenever they look at you, they see beauty. They don't see intelligence. For them, even a girl sh- cannot be intelligent. If you and I we had the same parents, and then I want to go abroad, if I tell it to my parents, yeah, you can go because you are a boy. But if you tell it to your parents. Immediately they will say you are a girl. It is dangerous for you because the man is strong and the girl, the girls are are weak. This is the consideration we have toward them. When you go to an office, if you have your degrees and then you want to to have a job, people instead of thinking about how intelligent you are, they will th- think about how beautiful you are and how beautiful you are. Okay, you understand better than I. So this is what I talk about the consideration, even in politics, in what, whatever you see, men they are now more representative than than girls. But at school, girls are better than boys. This is a fact. But but uh, it is important to say to know that there are some girls who decide by themselves to leave uh, school, school because they think that there is no need to continue. Given that they will have husband. Uh, and this husband will take yeah, care of that is the society when you born your mother says i dream one day you you have a yeah, na- yeah. you yeah. get married and then you you sigil me of it this is what the mother is that girl who every time hear that from his her mother is saying okay this is my way Okay, so this is my destiny. The yeah, as Ngugi Wachongo says, <laughs> they are slaves. But man- mental, mental slavery also that that exists. It means that you should tell to your girl when she is a girl that you have the same right than than boys. Even though we live in a country where we have some considerations that we have to take into consideration, but you have the same rights. And then, if you want to do something, you really can make it. And not I want one day for you to sigil your budget or whatever. A husband is a duty for a woman, but if I myself, education is first. That's what I say. Sometimes they, they, you may be faced with people who are gonna, who are gonna tell you to give up. But guys, never give up. Giving up is the birth of regret. They may tell you also that you will fail because you are a woman, 
and education in women doesn't work. This is not the truth. Maybe you will fail for the first time. It is fine. Okay. The second time you fail also. It is okay. But be sure the third time you're going to make something happen. Girls, education is for us. Education is for us as it is for the boys. So bear it in mind. I have a dream. You guys, your last words. Aisha. Okay, thank you, Amina. So if there is something that I have to say again, that would be that let's not forget about the importance of education because education is a gift. It is a richness. And compared to other gifts, education is the only thing that doesn't um, perish, that doesn't disappear, that doesn't run out. So that's the reason why everybody should just um, pay attention to it and give it the consideration and respect it actually needs. That's the reason why Prophet Muhammad used to say that the best thing a parent can give to his or her children is education. So education is of paramount importance. And as Mahatma Gandhi used to say, if you wish good things for me, do it with me. If not, you are doing it against me. So a good educational system must be inclusive and culturally based. Thank you so much again for the invitation. I highly appreciate it. Thank you, my brother Bomba. Thank you, my sister Maimuna. I can't help thanking enough um, someone who is very special to me. It is my, um, my high school teacher, Mr. Mo. He is such a knowledgeable person, and he has contributed a lot to the person we have turned into. So, Mr. Mo, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you have done for us, but also for Koki High School. I have a dream. Um, so I will just um, finish by saying that I have a dream that one day young Senegalese girls and boys will um, live freely and not worry about getting a job once they finish their studies or not. I have a dream that one day in our beliefs, beloved Senegal, diplomas and degrees will be valued because that's what we really need. Because that's what this... Um, lead to brain drain if you are educated if you get your degrees if you get your diplomas if you work hard if you went through too many um obstacles in your life but at the end of the day you realize that you are not given that much value so yes let's put an end to brain drain because that's a main obstacle that our educational system is facing thank you something aisha yeah your dream is really possible and never settle un until you get it. Maimona, your last word. Okay, thank you, Amina. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, my sister Aisha, for this invitation. Really, it is a, a great pleasure and honor to be here, uh, to be here with you today and talk about education. I thank also Mariama Biai and Abdul Sadio, my parents, my lovely parents, who uh, accept uh, that I go to school and I hope that one day they will not regret it because I will do my best uh, to success for them. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you so much to our guests around here. So I think we have many dreams uh, concerning our educational system. Some people want something to change, others want something to be improved. But all of us need our edu to see a better educational, educational system. I will do as Aisa did. I also have a dream that one day we will be having an educational system based on our realities. I have a dream that one day we will be having more schools that are specific in order to allow all students to go to school to be free and not, and not to be afraid to have dreams. I also have a dream to see an educational system here in Senegal where girls and boys are going to be taken into consideration without looking at their, at their gender. I have a dream to see an educational system where parents will participate a lot by considering the dreams of their, their child, by educating them, by bringing them up and knowing that they are the future of, of uh, tomorrow. I have a dream at last to see a university here, uh, Senegalese universities, where students will know their real values and will not be transformed into politics, but into students that are ready to develop this very country because it is what we need. I have many dreams and I hope each one of us Everybody. listening us, uh, each one of people listening us will not be afraid to share one day their, their dreams because dreams makes the world perfect. Of course, of course. As I said it while back, all our dreams are possible and we are not going to settle until we got it. 
Maybe our time is coming. Promotion that you were talking about is coming. Yeah, guys, I hope that you all take profit from this wonderful and interesting show and that you are not going to be afraid of, uh, I mean, uh, working on your dream because failure is something that we're going to stop you. Do not fear failure but be terrified of regret really i suggest you to work on your dream and never be afraid of failure so guys i just give you a rendezvous for the next time with another topic interesting and important have a good day goodbye